what's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown. I know it's been a, quite a long time since I've uploaded. I think it's been like um, three days about, just about three days. And man, uh, I gotta tell you dudes, it's because I've been sick, man. I, I don't know, like I said in the title, man, I think I caught that shady sickness, man, because this dude, Shady Penguin, this dude was sick. And he was out for a while, and then next thing you know, I'm sick and I'm out for a while. And then I know some other Poketubers were sick and out for a while too. So it's like, you know, what the fuck's going on here, man? This is, this is a virus, man. It's taking us down. You might be able to hear a little bit of the cold in my voice right now. I'm going to try my best to not, like, make it so apparent. But yeah, I've just been spending the last few days in bed, sleeping, drinking water, eating, fapping. You know, the usual stuff to get over a cold. <laughs> We are going to go back into Showdown, because you know, due to all the experimentation with the fucking crazy teams that I've been doing, my ranking has dropped down and I want to bring that shit back up. So we're going to go back into Showdown using my most solid team to date, these guys. So let's get into it. We're going we to find something. We're going to rank today. And um, in general, this will just be good for us to get our heads back into this Showdown game. It's been quite a while since we played, you know? So let's have a little refresher course. If this thing will ever load, because you know, Showdown is really, really moving slow nowadays. And um, another interesting thing that I wanted to say is that I see a lot of PokeTubers are actually doing Showdown now, like live Showdowns and incorporating that into their regular flow of what they post. It's pretty damn cool. I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest, because you know, like, Showdown wasn't popular before, and now it is, you know? Like, I mean, well, I shouldn't say it wasn't popular before, but it definitely wasn't, uh, it wasn't such a widely accepted thing in terms of like a format of what to post and now the live showdown thing is even it's crazy man I'm, I'm loving it though I'm seeing a lot of popular um, Pokétubers post it now so it's like you know what bring it on man this is like the new generation right here so right now I'm looking at um, possible leads being uh, Great Ninja definitely he has a lot of possible leads but you know what I'm gonna feel the most comfortable going in there with this one let's just set those stealth rocks up as soon as possible we always have um, we always have Blastoise to, to rapid spin those things away, so that's no problem whatsoever. He's probably gonna go for the taunt now, which is pretty damn obvious. Okay, never mind. He's gonna go straight for his rocks. Well, that's a dead Deoxys. I'm guessing Breloom's probably gonna come in now, but I do have my um, my um, I do have my um, what the hell is this Puffball's name? I can't never remember this thing's name. I gotta give all these Pokemon nicknames. That's one thing that I've been slacking on. I usually always give my Pokemon nicknames just so it's easier to call them out, but I haven't been doing that lately and I feel bad for it. And oh, also, you dudes that have been wanting Wi Fi battles, I got something for y'all niggas. I got something for y'all. Oh, we got Greninja in there now. Okay, this is not good, but um, I got something for y'all. Man, I know you dudes are gonna. You see this team that I'm battling with, right? If you go here, what is that? What is that? You probably can't see it, but I've been spending my time while being sick doing some productive stuff. Basically, making all my teams in um, X and Y format for the Wi-Fi battles. So you know, I'm I'm working, man. I'm trying to work out here. I'm trying to do my damn thing. Let's go into Wimsicott. Okay? Take whatever this guy wants to do. He probably might have seen the. Oh, he got the crit. Oh wow. Okay, so this is a really, really powerful Greninja here. Let's just go for a substitute, hoping that he misses. He's gonna go into Balloon. That's okay. Um, now this Balloon. He doesn't have a Toxic Orb, so this is most likely going to be that Life Orb Technician set. Very dangerous indeed. And I replaced Tailwind with Stun Spore because they kind of do the same job somewhat. I mean, Tailwind has the, the limited boost in speed, doubling, but Stun Spore just seems like so much more of a direct option. So that's why I went with Stun Spore instead. But we'll see how well it works out because, you know, its accuracy sucks. So um, let's, let's hit him with it. Let's hit him with it. And it hits. Oh, wait, it failed. Why did it fail? Does Stun Spore not work on grass types anymore? Is that what the case is now? If that's the case, then that's pretty damn stupid. Um, alright, well we pretty much got no other option to switch out. We, we, we gotta switch out. Can't really do anything else here. We could Encore him so he stays locked in on the, um, on the rock slide and then we go in there with Blastoise and Rapid Spin the rocks away. You know what, that sounded like a plan right now. Let's do it. Oh shit. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Let's go into... Actually, you know what, we, we might just be better off dying here. We might just be better off dying. You know, yeah, let's just let Musicot die because I know. I mean, I think it's sort of done its job. I don't know. Maybe I'm playing foolish, but I think that Musicot switches in on the Stealth Rocks again, and that's it. But I'm trying to get those away. 
Maybe I shouldn't sacrifice it like this. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go straight into Blastoise. I don't know. That probably was a bad move, sacrificing Whimsicott like that, but... It's okay. I actually want to lure him into going into his, um... I want to lure him into going into Age of Slash, so this way we can start, like, dark pulsing the shit out of this guy, because, you know, after all, that, that that's gonna pretty much do a ton of damage to him, regardless of what... Even if he goes for the, um, Shadow Sneak with his Age of Slash, he's not gonna be able to do anywhere near as much damage as he wants to to Mega Blastoise. We'll be able to just pressure this guy, and pressure this guy, and pressure this guy. It sounds like a plan to me. Let's bluff that we're gonna go for the Rapid Spin, and in reality, we're just gonna go straight up for that Dark Pulse. Maybe we should go for the Warp Spell. He's gonna switch. There's no way he's not. So... You know, let's just go for the safe rapid spin just because. I mean, I, I knew I knew he would probably switch just in case if he didn't, we would have our rocks away. But this is fine now. So let's go for this water spout now. Should do a lot of damage. It really should. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you know, oh, okay, he's gonna go straight into Breloom again. That was a resisted water spout, dog. God damn! Comics don't play around, man. That was a. <laughs> you see the power of the water spout. The power is it's, it's too much, man. It's too much. All right, so more than likely he's going to stay in there. Let's just... Damn, I'm sacrificing a lot of Pokemon here, man. I'm playing kind of foolish here. But um, it might just wind up being worth it. It might just... I could go into Embor. I could. Let's go for... Uh, let's go Let's go for an R's. Wait, wait, is this my one? Yeah, it is. Okay. You know what, this is probably stupid to stay in with him, with the Bullet Seed, but maybe he won't get full hits. Let's go for the Aura Spear. Oh, god damn, that does a lot of damage. Oh, he only got two hits. Okay, great. Breloom's dead. Excellent. Damn, but now I'm probably not going to be too good in there to go for my Rapid Spin. They, they ain't spinning, nigga. They ain't spinning. Let's just go for this Rapid Spin anyways. He might just sub up on us, you know, because Gyarados likes to do that sub is definitely possible. I would have loved to have Whimsicott at this point though, you know, it was bad It was bad sacrificing Whimsicott. I already, I felt it in my gut when I gave it away, like, oh, that was a bad move, you know, I, I felt it. Alright, he's just gonna go straight up for the EQ. That's okay, that's alright. You can now go in there with Galangelo if we really want to and just deal a ton of damage to this guy. But the Lando switch, the Lando switch. That's the shit I don't like. That's the shit I do not like. The Lando switch is very obvious there. But if he doesn't Lando switch and I just stay in there and go for the HP Ice, then I lose my Galvantula. Just like that. This is a risky player. Very risky. It's all 50-50. There's a 50-50 chance that I can make a good move here. 50% is I go for the Thunder and I kill Gyarados. Or I go for the Thunder and I hit Lando. But then I can just switch out, right? That's not too big of a deal. Then again, who wants to take an Earth Power from the Lando? If Galvantula wasn't a Scarf, this would be alright, but it's Scarfed. Let's just go for Galvantula. Um, he knows I'm faster. You know I'm faster. In fact, you know I'm faster to the point where I don't think he's gonna want to stay in with his Gyarados like this. I highly doubt it, man. Maybe the Bug Buzz is a safer option, just to be able to hit Lando in case he wants to come in. You know what? No. Hidden Power. Oh, fuck. He didn't switch. Okay. Well, that sucks. We basically just lost. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean... Well, maybe we did. Maybe we did. Um, let's go for Mammo. Um, he's gonna go straight for the Waterfall. Of course, it's gonna decapitate us. Uh... Let's just go into Galvantula. That was a bad move. I didn't think that he would stay in like that. Well, now he's gonna... Oh, wow, and it didn't even kill? Damn, Mega Gyarados is bulky. But then again, regular Gyarados has a ton of special defense, so I shouldn't even be surprised, man. Anyway, we still got Embor here with the Sucker Punch, so let's, let's just deal it out. No one expects <laughs> Well, I, I was thinking about using Darmanitan over Embor, but the loss of the Sucker Punch really wasn't, it, it wasn't suiting me, man. I didn't want to lose that Sucker Punch. So now we're just going to stay in there with Lando. Of course, it's going to kill us, but at least we'll get a nice, strong Sucker Punch on the guy. I did 44%. That's not bad at all, man. Not bad in the slightest. Now we're going to go into Caracosta. And, uh, 
Kara Costa in there. I'm, I'm hoping that the guy gets scared out maybe by the Aqua Jet and decides to just like, oh, okay, why don't we switch out? But why would he switch though? If we didn't have them stealth rocks up, we'd be perfect. So you know what? Foolish move on giving up Whimsicott needlessly. Foolish move on not getting those entry hazards away on Blastoise. Playing foolishly with him. Damn. But you know what? I'm getting back into it. It's been a little while. Anyways, let's just go for, straight for that strong Aqua Jet. It should do a lot of damage. Or maybe we should go for the Shell Smasher. I don't know. No, no. He wouldn't switch out. There's no way he would switch out. No way. Let's just get some strong damage off on the guy. And whatever. You know what? That's, that's it. 3-0 defeat. That sucks. Our ranking is now... 1,435. We've fallen quite a bit from when I was playing peak with this team. I, I had like ranking 1,670 something. So yeah, we're getting back into this shit. That was yeah, that that was a refresher right there. That was a refresher course right there.